Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Urvi and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Very, very excited about this video because I'm gonna be reviewing some of the food from Daily Harvest. If you're on social media at all or have looked into meal kits, things like that, I am so sure that you've heard of Daily Harvest before. And if you haven't, then Daily Harvest is basically a food subscription service and they are completely plant-based vegan and I'm vegetarian so this works out really really well for me. This is not sponsored. I have been trying a couple different meal kits recently just because I found that with my lifestyle I am often busy and unable to meal prep in advance. Especially in the last few weeks, I've been getting takeout a little too much and been snacking on like unhealthy things. So this is my attempt at kind of giving my body a little bit of a detox reset because fruits and vegetables, as you all know, are very, very good for you. And Daily Harvest is completely made of organic fruits and vegetables. So here's the plan. It's pretty gloomy and snowing out here in New York. And I don't really want to go out, buy groceries, walk back home with those heavy bags. Uh-uh. So what I'm going to do is I have six things from Daily Harvest. I'm going to try to incorporate that into the next two to three days of eating. After, I'm going to be reviewing how I feel after like two days of fully plant-based, fruit, vegetable, fiber heavy eating and also review Daily Harvest as a meal kit because Daily Harvest, if you don't know, is a little bit on the pricier side, at least that's how I feel, but let's go do this. Okay you guys, I've been working for the last like three hours and it's lunchtime now and I'm excited to be eating my very first Daily Harvest meal. This one's a harvest bowl, it's the cremini and asparagus pot pie. This up here lists the main ingredients, so it's cremini, asparagus, cauliflower, sweet potato, brussels sprouts and thyme. It has all of the nutritional information on this side and the rest of the ingredients at the bottom over here. So this can be cooked in the microwave or on the stuff top. I'm just gonna throw it in the microwave and heat it for like four or five minutes as per the directions and we will do a little taste test. Okay, so this is how it came out from the microwave. It's looking pretty piping hot right now. I'm not vegan, so I added some Parmesan cheese on top of this. First impressions though, this tastes really, really good and it smells divine. I can really taste the cauliflower, the sweet potato, the thyme. It tastes very, very wholesome. I'm also someone that really loves vegetables. I grew up eating vegetables throughout my life, but this definitely feels more like a semi-soup version than a harvest bowl. It is delicious either way. On Daily Harvest, this is about $9, and I'm gonna get into the pros and cons at the end of this video, but I do feel like the quantity is pretty low for $9. I'm gonna finish this up and see how full I feel at the end of it and I'll check in with you in a bit. Okay you guys, it's 9 p.m. I was very surprised because that Daily Harvest Harvest Bowl kept me full for about four, four and a half hours, which is usually what I what my eating cycle is like even on my regular food schedule so I got hungry about at 6 45 7 ish and I wanted to eat the chia seed bowl for dinner but then I looked at the instructions and apparently it requires six hours of prep time so that didn't work out and I made myself some pasta for dinner but now it's a little bit late it's Friday night there's a snowstorm outside like I said and I'm here inside doing nothing just working on a video by myself so I'm craving some ice cream and I have the sesame ice cream from Daily Harvest which I'm very very excited to try all right so this is the vanilla plus salted swirled black sesame ice cream and this is vegan ice cream I want to be able to tell the difference between vegan and non-vegan once I try this 
and it also has all of the main ingredient here of everything i got i think i've been the most excited to try the ice cream so this is very very fun for me okay moment of truth i'm getting some of the black stuff and some of the actual ice cream not the flavor you would expect from ice cream in terms of differentiating between vegan and non-vegan i really cannot tell the difference i give this a 7 out of 10 this feels more like a coconut smoothie sort of flavor with this black thing i don't know if that's the black sesame probably is it's kind of bitter uh, and the ice cream isn't too sweet either i don't think i'm a huge fan of this flavor unfortunately i've heard that they have other ice creams that taste really really good Sadly for me, this is not one of them. It's not bad. It does taste good even, but I wouldn't be super excited about this as much as I would be about like regular ice cream from say Ben & Jerry's. So as an ice cream, 7 out of 10. As a food in general, maybe this is much healthier than regular ice cream. So a bit of a miss here, but you best believe I'm still gonna eat it. Right, so it's the next day and I'm hungry, it's breakfast time and I prepped this bowl yesterday, it's the chia seed bowl. Excuse the way I look, yesterday was a really busy Saturday and I just woke up. These are the ingredients, so chia, apple, fig, coconut, cauliflower and vanilla bean. All the other nutritional information on this side. This bowl has 310 calories and This is actually better than I was expecting it to be. It has chunks of apple and fig, so I can actually chew it. And that's what's giving this bowl sweetness, because on its own, it's not at all sweet. I want it to be a little bit sweeter, so I'm gonna add some honey on top. I have a bit of a sweet tooth, if you cannot tell. So even though this looks small, I know like the Harvest Bowl, I was doubting that one a little bit, but I think with this, just because it has chia seeds, I'm kind of confident it's going to keep me full for the next at least three to four hours. Honestly, I cannot even believe I'm eating something so healthy because this feels like eating a dessert. Also made myself a large coffee because it's just that kind of day. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my breakfast and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello, hello, it's Monday morning. I woke up super early today, worked out, washed my hair, blow dried it. I don't know, I'm just obsessed with my hair, so if I keep looking at myself, that's why. But I'm super hungry, because it's been a while since I worked out, did my hair and everything. So for breakfast, we're having this chocolate blueberry smoothie from Daily Harvest. I'm very excited for this one, because I don't know, chocolates and blueberry, anything with chocolate, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. But here are the ingredients. It has blueberry, banana, spinach, almond, cacao, and maca. I don't know what maca is, but I'm guessing something healthy. So we're gonna see how much we like this. On the website, it looks like the smoothie kind of overflows out of the box, which I know is just marketing, but I don't know. Let's see how much this makes. That's how much it fills. I do like that the cup has like a place you can put your straw in. I am going on a walk now, so I'm just gonna bring this with me. Mmm, this is so good. So good, I can taste chocolate. It's not as sweet as I would like it to be, but that's just better for me because I think this doesn't have any added sugar in it. This is my favorite so far out of all the things that I've tried. Mm. If you get one thing from Daily Harvest, I would definitely recommend the smoothies over anything else. It's been a really, really long work day for me. It's like 8 p.m. I just finished my dinner and like clockwork, my sweet tooth, my sweet craving has hit. And so I thought it's the perfect time to try out these raspberry and fig bites from Daily Harvest. The main ingredients in these bites are raspberry, almond, coconut, cranberry seed, hascap berry, I don't know what that is, and vanilla bean. 
and there's about eight bites in here and every bite has a hundred calories it's almost like a frozen cookie mm. even though it feels really frozen it's actually pretty chewy it's like eating one of those um, one of those chewy protein bars the taste I want to say is exactly like raspberries I'm tasting a lot of raspberries a lot of coconut it's really tasty too it's like eating one of those DIY desserts that actually tastes good I really like this I wonder if they have like cookie flavors in this because that would be a fun thing to try I think I'm gonna eat like two or three of these because they're good. They're like really good. And tomorrow we'll be trying the last daily harvest recipe. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Trying the daily harvest oat bowl for breakfast today. So this bowl has strawberry oats, goji berries, flax, hascap berry, and vanilla bean. Pretty much similar ingredients to the chia seed bowl. I prepped it last night. I put some milk in it and let it sit in the fridge overnight. So it's ready to go now. At my work desk, that has a lot of stuff as you can probably see, but let's try this bowl out. I of course added some honey on top. Mm -hmm. Before I say anything else, I want to say that I hate oats and I'm not an oat girl at all. And so I was least excited about trying this out. Honestly, I'm pleasantly surprised. I actually like this more than the chia bowl. The strawberries taste so fresh. It, it feels like I went to the farmer's market and I got fresh strawberries and I just cut them up and put them in this bowl. So 10 on 10 for the taste. All right, I think the lighting in here is pretty harsh, but I like it. I think it's making my hair look nice, so we're gonna go with it. But it's time to summarize this video. What do I think about Daily Harvest? And answering the big question, do I think it is worth it? So there are three things, right? There's one, how healthy do you wanna eat? Two, how much money are you willing to spend? And three, how convenient do you want your meals to be? Or how much work are you ready to put into your meals? So if your priorities are convenience and healthy, nutritious food, then it's gonna cost you some money, which is where Daily Harvest comes in. And in that scenario, this is perfect for you. But if you're someone who has some time, can put in the work to you know, pre-prep some of your meals. Like the Daily Harvest oat bowls, I think they would be really easy to prep at home overnight. Just put everything in like glass jars and prep for the week. So if you have the time to do that, then I wouldn't recommend Daily Harvest. If you're not choosing convenience and doing the work, then of course it is gonna be cost effective for you and it's also gonna be healthy because you're picking healthy things and meal prepping. So whether or not Daily Harvest is worth it depends entirely on your lifestyle and your budget. Personally for me, I thought some of the things that I got were worth it and some were not. I would really recommend the Harvest Bowl. I really like that one and even though the quantity seemed low, it kept me full for really long. I would also recommend the smoothie because I only can make like two or three basic smoothies and Daily Harvest has like so many options that you can pick from. Because in New York, if you go to a cafe to buy a smoothie, it is also between like six to eight dollars, which is kind of in line with Daily Harvest. I also really like the chia seed and the oat bowls, but I do think that those two are very easy to prep on your own. So I don't think spending $9 on those is worth it to me. And then the last two things that I tried, I think were the ice cream and the frozen bites. So again, would not pay $9 for that because I can buy Ben & Jerry's for $9, which is probably less healthy. But when you're eating ice cream, at least for me, I don't care about being healthy if I'm going for ice cream. Sometimes I just wanna indulge. Full meals from Daily Harvest make a lot of sense, especially because I just, I'm not good at meal prepping right now. I have a lot going on and I'm always working on like three things at once. And by the time it's lunchtime, I'm like starving. So I think having something that's quick prep, that is like ready in like 10 to 15 minutes is amazing for me. And Daily Harvest is a subscription service, right? So you don't have to get a box 
every week or every other week even you can look at your calendar when is the busiest time for you when do you have a lot going on when do you have to work on a lot of projects and are not able to meal prep maybe it's worth it for just one week out of four weeks in a month you know but yeah that was my honest review about daily harvest if you've tried daily harvest let me know in the comments below what your favorite things are so i know for my next box what i should get if you want to try daily harvest i do have a code this is not sponsored but i do get a small commission because it's an affiliate link that i reached out to the brand to get because i was trying their stuff out so if you try daily harvest and you use my code to get 40 dollars off your first box i'd be super grateful and thank you so so much for watching as always i will see you guys in my next one bye